You're right. Uh, I'm just on my way to Sundon Pit. Um, I'm going to meet. Uh, I'm going to meet somebody there, Lawrence Walker, um, one of the viewers, one of the subscribers who lives nearby, uh, and we're going to take the opportunity while there's two of us to go down and have a look in what I've been calling an old railway tunnel. However, I've been doing a bit of research, and I think it's something else. We'll see when we get there. Um, hopefully, Lawrence isn't a murderer. I've never met him. He could well be. If I turn up and he's standing there with a chainsaw and a meat hook, this video might not happen. But I'm sure he's a very nice man. Let's go and meet him and have a look. Right, here we are. It's all good. Lawrence isn't a crazy murderer. He's a very nice man. <laughs> right. We're going to get down a little muddy slope. Uh, we've got decent torches and all the rest of it. So the only thing I haven't got that I wanted was my hard hat. I couldn't find it. So I'll have to watch out for falling stalactites. Let's hope none of them fall on my head. Right, there's Lawrence keeping an eye on things. Let's get down there and have a look. Now, I'm convinced this is actually one of the old lime kilns. I was under the impression, looking at it previously, that it was uh, some sort of maintenance tunnel for the trains. Because you can see it's, it's shaped like a train tunnel. And you've got, you know, what could well be used to be tracks along the bottom here. But looking at the old, uh, looking at the old map, I found an old plan of the works. And I also found some old photos ranging from about 1905 up until it closed in 1976. And looking at all of that and piecing it all together, I'm convinced this was one of the actual kilns. There was a row of them. Now, it's possible there might just be a flue opening up the end here. Because I'll show you on those pictures later, on those photos. Uh, right, okay, not so much a... I was thinking maybe a, a chimney flue in the ceiling. But there's some sort of huge exhaust there, isn't there? There we go. Oh, and we have got... Maybe that was part of a... A vent of some sort. Got all these big pulleys, look. And I'm not surprised because they were baking a lot of chalk in here. Now, what we've got down here, I've been wondering about this. Let's see. Is it a pump? It's got an electrical connection. A little windy handle on the side. Oh, interesting. Oh. Just try and get that. What does that say? BMP. Does anybody know what BMPs are? On a gauge? It's not going to be beats per minute, is it? I don't know what that is. Whatever it is, it measures BPMs. It's got a little windy handle on the side. And an emergency stop button. There you go, look, there's the old red mushroom emergency stop. I don't know what that is. I'd love to know if anybody recognises that. What else have we got? Some very old wood. Look at the uh, big build-up of all the calcium where it's been dripping through. Still forming even now as we speak, isn't it? Actually, it is too low for a train, isn't it? To be honest, it'd have to be a pretty low train to park in here. What's that? Oh, it's an old light fitting. So, 1976, they stopped using all this. It's sat here ever since growing stalactites. I'll tell you what, I'm glad the kids haven't been down here and smashed all of this. Because I know that's the sort of idiotic thing I used to do. 
Right. Okay, not sure what that was all about. Maybe part of a conveyor system. Um, that's something I can show you on one of the old photos, actually. It shows that there are big conveyor belts going in and out of these tunnels. I'm in one of a few. There's a whole row of these tunnels. All in a, all in a long line. Somebody's been down here drinking what? Oh, it's that monster energy stuff. Well, there you go. I was probably a bit overcautious in hindsight about coming down here because that's not a difficult route in and out. I just wanted to be sure. Right, we're going to let Lawrence have a turn. He wants to come down here and have a look about. While he does, uh, I'm going to see if I can find somewhere that's not in the glare of the sunshine to show you those pictures. In he goes. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck. Lawrence just said, what about the one that you get in through the manhole? And I wasn't quite sure which one he was on about, but I forgot, we have looked at this one before. Oh, and there's a little room down the end there. So Lawrence is going down first this time. Gonna give it a go. <laughs> That's where we just were. Now this bank along here, while well, Lawrence is down the hole, this bank that you can see along here, that had a whole row of those, those kilns in it. And then up on the top there on the platform, that's where the massive chimneys were. Um, I am going to get that tablet out and show you the photos. I've tried a few times, but the glare's terrible at the moment. We'll find somewhere dark to get it out and show you. But yeah, all the kilns sat along here. The trains were here. Oh, he's back. What's down there? Is it another room? Yeah. Oh, right. All right. I'll go and have a look. Oh, it's a bit smellier down here, isn't it? Any dead tramps? Um, oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's all sorts of litter been chucked down here, isn't there? What's this thing? Ah, oh, that's one of the little tunnels that goes down to goes down to where the train were, train track was. Must have been loading and unloading or something. Now I don't know what this thing here is. Sacrificial altar. Right, I know what he means now when he says the one where you go down the manhole cover. Okay, and look at that, the, uh, what is that, that's heart's tongue isn't it, that one, that's heart's tongue, and that lichen, that looks like the sort of thing you normally find growing in a waterfall, there's quite a lot of it, likes it down here. We're just coming up on top of those kilns now, this is where those big chimneys would have been. I was trying to figure out whether they just demolished everything and left it or whether they cleared it all away. I mean, this looks so flat. It looks like they, they didn't just demolish it and leave it. Yeah, we're standing right on top of the kilns now. The chimneys would have been up here. And down there is where we just were, where they get loaded in and out of. Just down in the front of the hill there. Uh, I can't see any any remnants of chimneys at all, which is a shame. It's all very flat, and I've just stumbled across a big bit of round brickwork. I wonder if that was part of the uh, one of the chimneys. Could be, couldn't it? I'll keep an eye out and see if there's any more. Just looking for somewhere a bit less muddy to have a sit down and see if we can get those photos out for you. Lawrence was just telling me about all the fatalities that keep happening in these pits. Um, he used to be able to come and ride here. 
and uh, although you know technically people shouldn't really do it it was it was allowed you know but apparently last summer a bloke flipped his 4x4 and died and since then the police have been coming down here and uh, stopping people from using it and surprisingly over at Tottenham as well apparently there was a recent incident at Tottenham where two motocrossers smashed into each other and one got killed makes you wonder about the uh, the landowners not wanting any liability for what's going on you know is that going to stop people getting permission eventually you know you'd hope not wouldn't you we found another little one to explore it's a bit tight this one but it goes somewhere we shone the torches in Lawrence is going first anything down there anything down there no dead end Ah, oh, all right I won't bother then <laughs> there is another little entrance over here but I think it is pretty much blocked up yeah it's sort of it, it's blocked up enough that I wouldn't bother trying to crawl in you're gonna try that one are you <laughs> I don't think I'll try it no <laughs> Lawrence just got his head down there and had a look and he said that actually once you get past this little bit he said it slopes right off and opens out down there um, I ain't gonna try and get down there it's all a bit nasty today but maybe in the future um, next time I'm here I might stick my head down there and see see if it is accessible Lawrence has just popped into the bunkers because uh, he's been in there before but he's never filmed it um, I'm not gonna bother because I've, I've been in there a few times but whilst he's in there I'm just gonna take advantage of the uh, dim light so that I can show you these photos. Right, that's a map of the old site. That's a map of the old works. And just here, they're the kilns. Oh, they're the kilns like we were just in. And up here along the top, you can see those round bits. They're all the chimney stacks that were on the top. Now, we're currently in the little bunkers, which I think are these structures here right now let me just show you a couple of the old photos and you can see exactly where we were uh, back at the kilns now this here if you can just about make out not these arches here they're just big sheet metal covers can you see just about where's my finger you can just see that little archway poking out beyond the beyond the building that's one of the kilns Obviously this is the railway track next to it, and then up on top of the kilns you've got the, the chimneys up on the top. Now, again here, here's the chimneys up on the top, where we were up on that flat bit. Just there, finger, 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 just there's the kilns. Now, there's one other particular one I just wanted to show you. Where are we? Here we go. This is from the 1970s. I think yeah this one's from the 1970s now that kiln there in the middle I think if you look at the top of that archway this is now all filled up with rubble it's just the top of that archway there which we crawled in and had a look through and you can see you've got conveyor belts going in and out that might be part of the structure that we were looking at in there and obviously at the time you could you could drive lorries in and out there you go that's where we were Go on then, just quickly, let's have another quick look. It's, uh, I wonder if D, is D Gert still gay? Let's have a look. Where is it? Oh, it was on that wall, it was the other wall, wasn't it? That one. Yeah, 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 D Gert is still gay, right. <laughs> I'd love to be able to speak to somebody who used to work here. Somebody worked here back in the 60s or the 70s. I can hear Lawrence offering. Off in the distance somewhere. Hello! I'm a bit of explore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd love to get to speak to somebody who used to work here, it'd be fascinating. There must be people in the area still. It wasn't that long ago. Uh, I'm getting lost now, I don't want that exit. Yeah, go on, let's take that exit. Oh dear. 
Right, I think that is actually pretty much time to call it a day now. Uh, my back's holding out not too badly, but my hip's giving me some jip. And uh, Lawrence says his knees hurt. And we're all as old as each other. Oh, a bit windy. Even with the windshield on, I bet that didn't sound nice for you. Right, we're very nearly done now. Back up the top. Um, we're going to walk past the top of the lake on the way back to where we parked the cars. So I'll whip the camera out there again. It's always nice to have a quick look at the lakes, isn't it? Well, we just passed around the top of the lake and I'm really sorry, I forgot to get the camera out to show you. But you've seen it before. do not really matter, does it? It's just nice to have a look if you can. Um, that's it anyway, I'm knackered and Lawrence is knackered. We got to see all the things that we wanted to see. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little foray down into the kiln or what I'm presuming was a kiln. It's really cool down there, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if you're into motocrossing. If you're into watching motorbikes do crazy things, um, Lawrence does do sort of onboard filming on his camera. Um, I think his channel's just called Lawrence Walker, isn't it? Right, yeah. yeah. Just Lawrence Walker and he's got, he puts his phone on the front of his, puts his camera on the front of his bike and does all the, all the nutty runs down Tottenham and places like that. Right, okay, I'm knackered. I can barely talk walking up this hill. I'll see you all soon. Take care.